Thanks very much for that, Sarah. Uh, today's topic is a controversial one. It's one that's been in the media for a few days now. Over the weekend, uh, a case in Ohio wrapped up, a rape case, with the conviction of two young men for raping a 16-year-old girl who was passed out at a party when this happened. It's a tragic case, but it has stirred a lot of emotion on both sides, those for the victim and those for uh, those the two men convicted. Now, the panel today, is we're going to discuss a couple angles on this one. We've got Cub Carson from uh, Bob FM, Leanne Cusack from CTV, and Trisha Owens, of course, from Magic 100. Thanks all for being here today. This one is a tough one. We're going we're gonna to touch on a couple angle, angles here. This case, it seemed like it wrapped up on the weekend, but it's continuing. There were two women, two teens actually, 15 and 16 years old, who are now charged with intimidation charges for what they put on Twitter, mm -hmm. their comments on Twitter, after the conviction came down. So these two young men are convicted of rape. Seemingly these women, we don't know, but perhaps know these men, and took to Twitter with some very, uh, well, some, some some, they went on Twitter and said st stuff they probably shouldn't have put down. Quote, you ripped my family apart, you made my cousin cry, adding uh, that uh, when this is all over, a, a, a direct um, a, a threat to the victim here, that it's going to be a homicide. It, and it, that's shocking, right? And it almost leaves, I think, all of us speechless to think that they're using this social media platform to spew such hatred. Yes. Unfortunately, though, Twitter, Facebook, it just makes it so easy for people to attack others, right? And they're just thinking whatever they're thinking that they're putting their opinions out there. But uh, then for the world to see, she's being re-victimized all over again as far as I'm concerned. So it's awful. In this case, we've seen from the get-go, even the media, the local media, this is in Steubenville, Ohio, uh, suggesting, you know, putting a lot of the focus on, oh, these poor football yeah. stars mm -hmm. and their life is over, they're going to jail now. Putting the focus on their lives as opposed to the victim. Leanne, what do you think of that? I think you said it at the very beginning, the victim has been victimized yet again. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, there's there's no closure on this, you know, right. like and, 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 and that's the thing, people think that because of the court case that the, the, the victim is going to be able to go on and have a, a normal life. That's not going to be the case. I mean, the, the court proceedings may have ended, but she's going to have to live with this for the rest of her life. And these guys should have to live with this for the rest of their life. As far as I'm concerned, they got off easy. They got off very, very easy. Because but as a father, if, if this was my daughter that this happened to, mm. I'd be doing a lot more serious things than threatening someone on Facebook. And kids nowadays, they don't understand. Mm -hmm. They don't get it. I have friends who work for the Ottawa Police Department, and they have, have busted a, a, you know, house parties, or they've caught kids uh, doing something they shouldn't have been doing. And, and when they have them in the car, the kids do not understand why they're being arrested. They don't get it. They don't understand. And then what they do is they go onto Facebook and they complain about what happens. All they're doing is incriminating themselves. And what needs to happen is police, uh, attorneys, uh, the, the court systems need to come down harder on these kids when they do these kind of things mm -hmm. online. If these well. two girls are convicted of these intimidation charges, they could serve up to six months in juvie jail. Now, she's accused of intimidation, of threatening to beat up a young woman who's her age mm -hmm. who was raped. Mm -hmm. Well, Annette, it, Our kids, where, 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 where's the brain there? What's going on? Well, I, I want to get to that point in a moment, but there's another element to this. Wasn't social media actually part of this court case? Because yes. weren't the young men actually bragging on social media mm -hmm. about how they victimized or how they attacked? The, uh, the young woman. And, and the most startling thing about that whole is, is the reaction from one of the, 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 the kids, the, the, the guys that was guilty of doing it. He apologized for putting the video up. Uh -huh. He apologized for putting for the video. The girl. This, this, this to me shows you're missing the point. Yeah. You're missing the point. And if you want to you know, peel the scab off of Steubenville, Ohio, this is a very, very interesting community that, that has a very, very long track record of these kind of things happening and the, the, the town just sweeping it under the yeah, rug. Yeah, a very skewed view, perhaps, of how serious a rape is. Yeah. Uh, you got back, there's, there's another whole element, and that is, I think, what you, what you t touched on mm -hmm. at the very beginning, Tricia, which is all of a sudden, 
everyone has a voice. Mm -hmm. yes. Not everyone right. has good judgment, logic, or a kind heart. Right. But everyone suddenly has a voice. But there's just no sense of discretion. And as you said, there's a whole lot of young people who just don't understand that difference between it's right or wrong really and right. It's just really scary when you're using something like Twitter and Facebook for <clears> such <throat> negativity and, and hatred and hurt. And I, I mean, I don't know what the solution is, how you how you fix it. I, or can you really regulate it? You know what I mean? To make sure that these kinds of messages are tougher, not being shared. Tougher I don't know. penalties. If you're gonna if you're gonna be trying mm -hmm. to act like you're an adult mm -hmm. and have these wide opinions on a wide variety of subjects. First of all, I think social media themselves, the people that run Facebook, the people that run Twitter, sh they need to police their sites more often. That's a good point. And a lot of people think this is my free speech. No, 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 no. Twitter and Facebook is not a democracy. Twitter but and Facebook is a dictatorship that is because one person owns it all and runs the whole thing. So those people need to be held accountable but you for the actions of others. how many users are on there? And unfortunately, I think that's a great idea as well, but that becomes incredibly difficult right when you think of the millions and millions of people but on, if we're, on if we're dealing with, with a specific person because there are mm -hmm. uh, 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 measures and checks that, that are in place that if right. something that you don't like is is being common sure. you know and you, you, can, you can you can block it or report you can either it, block right? it or report it so if you if you report it then they have a, a responsibility in order to follow That's up right. on those things and at least just, look into it unfortunately folks we got to wrap oh. it up here <laughs> I know we just got going scratching it, the surface it, we are just scratching the surface yeah. it's a great topic it's one that I'm sure will generate a a lot of discussions uh, in a lot of workplaces and homes today because it's certainly one that is affecting some lives and yeah. and uh, one that we should be talking about for the future of Twitter and its use. Yep. All right, thanks very much to my panel.